So now, obviously this image is useless without our user input. So what we want to do is we want to, we've already broken down a line, we want to create a form. And this form is going to submit to this index.php page and it's going to check that the uh, GD value, in fact no, we're going to submit to another page, I think that's probably uh, a bit better. And the reason we're submitting to another page is um, is um, what we're doing is we are refreshing when we come back on ourselves. So um, we've got uh, form action equals check.php, that's absolutely fine. Uh, and no, in fact, we will go back to the index page. Um, right, okay. So uh, now we need to say type the value you, oh, value you see. Okay, and then we can create an input type of text. Um, we'll give this a size of six just to keep things uh, quite neat. Uh, and then I'm going to say uh, name is secure. And then obviously we need a submit button. Uh, so we'll preview this in a moment to make sure we like the look of it. So submit for the value. Okay, so let's uh, preview this and see what we think. Uh, okay, so type the value you see. We're going to type the value in here. And then we're going to click submit. Okay, so... At the moment, nothing's happening because we haven't uh, created a process for this. But up here, what we want to do now is we want to say if the form has been submitted, so if the user has submitted the form, we don't want to generate a, um, a random number just yet. Um, so if is set and the uh, variable that we're taking into account is this post variable secure down here. So dollar underscore post and that is secure. So if is set or if not set, we can generate a number. Otherwise, we can do some uh, some validation of this. So what we can say uh, is we can say else, and we can say if um, dollar underscore session secure is equal to dollar underscore post secure. So essentially what we're saying is, if the session that's been set, so the random number that's been set and displayed in our image, is equal to the post that the user has made, so the images that the, the uh, letter, oh, the number, sorry, that they've seen, then we can do something. So we can say echo um, success or, or a match, for example. Otherwise, we can say uh, echo incorrect try again and then this is important what we need to do is we need to generate another one of these because they've got it incorrect therefore we want to change the value so they have to look at another another value without this what we're going to just be doing is displaying the same value to them now for this example we're we're echoing out a match but this could be part of your form validation. So if you were validating, say, a username, a password, a first name, and a surname, you'd want to include the relevant checks in there, then register your user, then forward them to another page. You wouldn't be forwarding back to the same page um, if I was to say, yep, successful, we wouldn't be showing the registration form. So hopefully that makes sense to you. Let's refresh the page. So let's try and have a look at this image. Um, according to everything I've written, hopefully this works now. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to type in the correct image to see uh, the correct uh, numbers to see what we get up. So 3284, let's click submit. Okay, so it says a match. Let's just um, create a break before this image to make everything look a bit neater. Let's refresh that. So we've got a match. So we've got 3284. Uh, we typed in 3284, that's fine. Now let's type in, um, well, Presumably this now would have registered the user and gone to another page. So let's go back onto index.php and generate another number. So we've got 4968 here. Let's type in 1234. We click submit. Now what it says is incorrect try again and it's generated a new number. So now I can't make this out. I think it's 7477. Let's try 7477. Click submit. Incorrect try again. 4593 submit and it says a match so 4593 is successful we've successfully um, you know typed in the number so we're saying a match and we've still kept this number here but obviously we'd be sub 
forwarding the user elsewhere at this point. But you can see that the most important part about this is if the user gets it wrong, they're generated a new number to try. So every time they get it wrong, they're generating a new number to try. So this is basically um, capture in PHP with the GD library and how we generate a random number. You can use letters as well, that's perfectly acceptable. We're generating a random number, displaying it as an image with these lines to ensure that it can't well, it, it might be able to be read by some sort of robots. I mean, things are getting clever, but um, at this point, it's hard to be read um, by a robot on a basic level. But our user can still see it. And we've processed it this through form validation. So not only have we generated this image, we've tried it out in our own little form.